Welcome to the Shade Tree Railroad. Tree Railroad. Well, you remember the last update I did? Uh, I had the round table sitting down on the floor and contemplating what I could do with it and all of that kind of stuff. Well, let me swing you around here and I'm going to show you what we got now. Now hold on to your hats because here we go. Well, here we are. There's the floor down there. And we're up here on the same level as the rest of the layout, more or less. And you notice I've got this area all cleaned off. And, uh, yeah. Let's take a look here. I'm going to need your help. Anybody get any ideas? I, I put out a question to one of my friends on YouTube. I asked him what he thought I could do with that pole that uh, is coming right up there in the middle of my layout now. And he said, well, you could put stickers on there, or railroad names and stuff like that. But uh, somehow I'm going to try to incorporate it into the layout. But I haven't figured that out yet. Uh, as you can see, temporarily I painted it blue, like the sky. Uh, I've also considered maybe making it into, uh, I don't know, like a water tower or a, a fuel storage tank or something. You know, I could paint it you know, silver up to about this height. And then let the blue sky go above that, paint some clouds on it, I suppose. Those are some ideas that I've come up with. But uh, yeah, you can see that I've got my engines out here. And I've got uh, one of the switcher engines down here. Getting ready to load some ashes out of the ash pit. Oh, and that's another question I have. What is this thing here in the background? What is this? It looks like there was a building here or a pile of something. I'm almost wondering if it was uh, a place for the sand to be dropped off, but I don't think the uh, gondola car couldn't dump it this way unless it was a covered hopper or something and then it pumped it into. Uh, but maybe some one of you fellows will know what that is. And I had asked in my last video what this unit here was. Well, that's a sand tower. And so I have my sand tower and my refueling station set up here. I'm still going to put some pipes up. Nothing is anchored down here other than the track, of course. All of these things are just sitting here, you know, like that. Just sitting there. I'm kind of mocking things up, get an idea of where I want to go, and obviously I got this pile of track here that's all loose. And you can see we got the turntable down here. Swing you around here a little bit more so you can see all the engines that I have and what eventually will be at least partially covered with a roundhouse. I have two engines back over here that you saw, one at the sanding station and the other switching engine uh, back there at the ash pit. Uh, you can see the empty spaces. I still have room for two or three more. So I'm, my thoughts now is to finally determine what kind of an era I'm going to model, although I kind of like some from every era. So I may keep a little of this and a little of that. I'm kind of partial to the F7s. 
which is what the first two that I repainted with my own logo on them are. And I have the one that I bought brand new is an F7 with Pennsylvania um, lettering on it. And of course I have my two uh, steam locomotives. The one that Mike gave me is the one to your right. And the other one that I got in a trade for some stuff. Um, yeah. No, the turntable's not hooked up. I got lots of wiring to do. Uh, nothing is wired in on this section. Um, let me tip you down here to the floor and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Look at that. Huh? That's the control panel. Look at that puppy. Well, I don't need all of those switches and stuff. And if I had uh, DCC, I probably wouldn't need half of that, but um, I'm running DC. That's what I have. That's what I can afford at the moment. Let me take you over to another one of my industries down there. You can see uh, the steel mill, and part of that business is a scrap yard where I go and uh, get rid of my scrap metal. And yeah, I'm going to have that as one of my um, industries here on the layout. And uh, I'm thinking that I may take this uh, crane and actually take it off of the railroad car and, and mount it over here, maybe on wheels or something, I'm not sure. And I've got to attach a, a magnet to it. And these gondola cars, I'll end up putting uh, trash uh, loads inside of them, or scrap loads inside of them, to make them more realistic looking. And, uh, so yeah, you can get an idea looking down this way. Down towards the other end of the layout. My next chore uh, is to figure out how I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five lines attached into my regular layout. Now you can see part of my problem is I only have uh, two main lines. 